now can you hear me? Because it was going back and forth on its own to my headphones. You know how you get in the car and the car takes over and it wants to put it on the headphones or it wants to put it on the car? That's what it was doing. That's never happened. Okay, better. All right. So I'm going to start over. What I was saying is I have one word, one phrase. I heard last night on the way to sleep, act like it's yours. Act like you already have the house. Start all the way over. <laughs> well, that was, I am actually, that's, that's confirmation because I was. I was just like, let me just go all the way to the beginning. All I heard was start from like where you are right now. Act like it's yours. Act like, act like you already have it. The house is already here. The spouse is already here. The job is already here. The increase is already here. And I mean, really. So let's say you are acting. Okay, let's say your, your fi finances are funny. Act like you live in abundance. And it's going to feel frivolous. Hear me. It's got to feel this way. I'm using this one for an, a specific reason, and I'll explain. It has to feel extra. It has to feel like, nah, this can't be. It has to feel over the top. What am I saying? When, if you are doing, if it's financial and God says, I'm going to make you wealthy, but your bank account is really numbered and you can see it and be like, oh, I got to make this stretch. I want you to act as if you have plenty. That means if you go to the grocery store and if you had a lot, you would have bought, I think I did this example before, you would have bought, well, just use shrimp because it's expensive or steak because it's expensive. If you were to buy steak, but instead you're going to buy chicken. If you were going to buy shrimp, but instead you bought chicken, the cheaper meat, turkey, buy it right now today. That's acting as if you have it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Act like it's already here. Walk up to your car like it's a Maybach. Walk up to your car like it's a brand new, spotless, new, fresh paint car. Walk up to your house like, oh my God, this is my dream house. You're looking outside and all. I, when I say do it, go buy that thing for the house, even if the funds are funny, it's all going to correlate. Let me tell you why and how. Two years ago, when my business tripled 2020 and 2021, um, God took me on a journey and I didn't understand it at the time, but I do now. And then three or four years before that, I had a millionaire friend and I asked her, how do you manage your money without me, you know, overstepping my boundaries? I said, well, what one advice would you give me? And she said, when you have it, spend it. When you don't, no, 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 no. What did she say? Was it the opposite? She said, save it. And she said, pay up when you have a lot. Spend it when you have a lot. But this is the trick. She didn't just say, spend it on frivolous things. She said, light bills, paid up for a year. Car note, paid up for a year when you have it. Um, cell phone, paid up for a year. Anything that's fixed that you can pay up, pay it up. So that's what I mean by spend it. And she goes, when it's lean, of course, you cut back. But when you cut back, all the necessities are paid. I was like, that is smart. Never thought about that. Because most of us overseas, she's not from America. So overseas, everything is paid up. They don't pay monthly stuff. They pay six months a year. So that's the norm. So she was just like, that just helps you because when it's lean, it's lean. She goes, even as millionaires, when it's lean, it's lean. You know, of course, it's a different standard of lean. It's a different number that's lean. But everybody has that bank account threshold. They're like, e it's looking kind of funny, no matter where you are. OK, so she said, spend it now. That was three years, four years, maybe five prior to 2020, maybe 15, 16. 2020 comes. My business explodes and I have a couple couple, couple grand in the bank just from the business. And I'm not working literally uh, nine to five. It's my business. And every time I go to the sun, I'm like, I should get that, get it. And I'm like, no, God, I feel so frivolous. He's like, get it. Treat yourself. 
go see something from my daughter, get it. I'm like, no, God. my mom's like, just get it. And I'm hearing get it from everyone around. Just get it, just get it. Nobody knows my bank account, but they're like, just get it. And then that year, I just really felt like I spent like dumb, stupid money because I got everything I wanted. Did you, did you catch that? I got everything I wanted. I didn't just get things. I got what I truly had a passion. If it was an outfit for my daughter that I really thought was cute and I was passionate, it, it was the passion behind it. Remember, I said, act like you already have it. There's a difference in, I'm just going to buy it just because I have it. And I'm going to buy it because I really want it and I have it. Okay. If you're following me, drop a one. So I did that for a whole year and my bank account never dropped below a certain number. I'm just going to be real. And I was just like, this is weird, but it didn't hit me. Cause you know, you, you get your lessons while you're in it, but you don't get the understanding of the lesson until you're out of it. 2021, 2022, 2023. I tell, <clears throat> I tell my husband to take a break um, from work. And he goes, you know, the contract was ending. He needed a break anyway. I told him it's it's weighing on you. Everything that had happened. He took a break. He was doing unemployment. Got his, you know, his money coming in. God blessed me to have to be able to do that. And then from there, I reverted. I would not shop. I'd hear get it. <clears throat> I'd hear get it. But I'm like, mm, I got to do this and I got to do that. I'd hear get it. I'd be like, mm, I'm not sure. And I wouldn't. And the money started getting tight. And I said, God, what is the difference? When I did my taxes, I actually did more that year than I did the year when I was spending a lot. He said, you were spending and every time you spend, you get. And that just happened to me these last three weeks. With the all fast and all the supplies I had to buy and all the things I had to get, school shopping, school clothes. I mean, just all of it hit at once, which it does every year. But for whatever reason, I really acknowledge that, dang, the office is right when school starts and like, it's just boom. <clears throat> so I got it. I was obedient. He said, get this. I got it. Get that. I got it. You know, I paid for the kids to get their locks, retwist, things like that. I got it. Not just making my husband or allowing him to pay for everything. I started helping more. And every time I swiped and I was just like, all right, God, you, know, you guys in the world changers, you know what we say when we swipe, we don't, it's not depleting. It's the opposite. Literally, I would get a, an alert. Someone just sent money, an alert. Money just came through. And I started to notice what he told me. When you operate as if you already have it, when you operate out of a place of abundance, every time you spend, you get immediately. It's for, and it, when I say immediately, some like if I spent fifty, I got fifty-seven dollars. If I spent a hundred, I got a hundred and seven dollars. It wasn't a big span because I, you got to watch your spend also. And when I say span, it's how much you're getting in return, right? So there were times where I would give fifty and I'd get three hundred that year. And I was just like, dang, that's like five, tenfold almost. God, sixfold. Like, that's a lot. Just for putting a 50 and getting three, 400, putting 20, uh, spending $20 and getting $80. I'm like, that's like 20 times four. That's four times. That's where I was then. Now that I'm picking it back up, I'm seeing if I spend 50, I'll get 57. I'm at seven. It's just $7. But I'm grateful for that because that means I'm getting back into that mode. Spend it. Don't hold it because when you hold it, that's all you get and that's all you keep. Okay. So I say all that to say, act as if you already have what it is we are waiting on. What we've been waiting on since December, what we've been waiting on since January. We've all been going real strong with these affirmations and words and everything else under the sun. Act as if it's here this week. Don't penny pinch. Because that's proving to him it's in my reality. That's proving to you that you believe it's in your reality. And when you do it, and trust me, things got tight with me too. They get tight. And I was just like, all right, God, how are we going to do this? And never fails. Have enough to pay whatever it is I need every time, all the time. And every time I swipe, I get an alert. Money just came through. So 
All I have today is act as if it's already done. And I mean overboard. I mean be so uncomfortable with it. I Just like I said, whatever amount you have in a bank account, if you see something you want, get it. You're going to feel like you're wasting it. But what he's trying to show you is I got you. If it's a house, whatever, whatever you feel you can do to show that you already have it, I want you to do that, okay? That's what I have for you today. I know, um, Gabriel, you said you had some stuff over the weekend you want to come up and share? If you're available, I'm not sure if you're available. Does anybody have any comments? Anybody want to add anything? You are more than welcome. Having to buy an alternative alternator on my birthday and here my battery is bad too and buying another battery sounds pretty frivolous to me oh wow is that what happened on your birthday yeah my my car did that a bad service okay my card was doing that maybe three weeks ago it was just boom boom like and then the brakes and then this and i was just like oh my god i, I can't now one more thing god no more no more but everything was taken care of everything was taken care of nothing fell through the crack my car was fixed found a mechanic quickly he was able to get it in get it out um trust him buy it uh yeah she said having to buy an alternator on my birthday and here my battery is bad too buying another battery sounds pretty frivolous so you know what do it and trust him just he's trying to expand us let him expand you He's trying to show you, I got you. Let him show you. He's trying to help you understand where you are at. He's trying to help you really understand what it is. Um, he's trying to gift you. He wants you to feel that, okay? He wants you to understand that your blessings are here. He wants, sorry. He wants you to um, walk in it, and he wants you to trust him before you see it all. And that's all I have. If you guys don't have anything, I am done. I told you it's going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Because all God wants is for us, <clears throat> okay? All he wants is for us to trust him. That's it. All he wants is for us to trust him blindly. Okay? Let's see if you guys have anything. Come on up. Hey. Yes. So uh, yes. Oh, yeah, no, it is. Okay. This church for the next mile. Still pretty bad. I We heard that, or I could hear that still pretty bad. I heard that. Okay, yeah, I'm probably in this bad stretch for the next mile, but I'll try to push through. So, as you know, my. You're good. Uh, as you know, my birthday was Saturday, I think it was Saturday, yes. <laughs> so I got my children that morning, um, had them for the day up until five. So, you know, everything was great. Uh, got them back home. And I left there. I was going to head into town. On my way into town, my dashboard started acting up. Uh, my miles per hour, my... Uh, fuel, all those gauges went out, and then like all my indicators were on. I was like, "Uh oh, what's going on now?" Oh, back in the day before, it was just my battery light that it came on, so I was going to get the battery checked out. So fast forwarding to the present, where my lights are starting to go crazy. Um, I'm like, "Okay, this is weird." It's both parts. So I get there. They test the battery. They're like, okay, it's a bad battery. I'm like, all right. 
the, then they tested they test the alternator after that. They're like, oh, sorry, it's the alternator. I'm like, oh man, okay. So go ahead and get the alternator. Then they test the battery again. They're like, oh, the battery's bad too. I'm like, wow. Okay, okay, cool. No problem. I'm gonna go ahead and get the alternator. Called my stepdad. We are gonna go ahead and get it fixed Sunday so I can be good for the work week. Uh so I'm just like, well. My dad sent me some money, so I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself for my birthday. I'm gonna go eat. Y'all go ahead and do what y'all gotta do. And I'll just wait till whenever y'all finish y'all's function to ride home with y'all. So they finish up what they're doing, and then they drive 45 minutes the opposite way, um, thinking I was at a different auto parts. So Then they called me, they were like, oh, uh, are you out here at this one? I'm like, no, I'm at the other one. So they had to drive back 45 minutes to where they were, and then another hour to come pick me up. By this time, it had gotten cold, it was rainy, my feet were soaking, feet were soaking wet, socks were wet. I had got bit by uh, ants earlier that day when I was out with my mom, I'm like, wow, you really trying me today. But I say all that to say, I stay Got my um, alternator fixed, put up that in the in, and the car is up and running. And all that is behind me. Uh oh. Sitting those beds. No, we heard you. It started breaking up towards the end, but we, yes, we did. Well, I was able to hear okay. you. It just broke up maybe like the last 30 seconds, but okay, I'm great. glad that, that you, there. um, okay. I'm glad that you didn't react. I'm glad that you saw it because. That was probably your biggest test going into this week. You know what I mean? That is probably how he was going to derail what God is going to do this week. That is what the enemy does. When he pulls out all the stops and it's just like back to back to back, I want you to look up battery and alternator. I know the alternator, and I don't know much about cars, but I think the alternator is what starts the car. And then the battery is what gives it life. That's real simple. But look it up and see exactly why it was those two things. Because mine was a belt that fell off. And I heard it go clink, clink. And then all of a sudden, my car stopped moving. The steering wheel got hard as all get out, like steering. What is it? Power steering fluid had just drained out of it. There was nothing I could do. If I'd have been on the highway, we would have been done. It was me and all, all of my kids. I had decided randomly by the act of God, by the grace of God, to go the back road instead of the highway, instead of busy streets. And it just, I heard it clank and then it wouldn't turn. I couldn't turn. I was at a stop sign and I had to put my hazard lights on. I could back up because I could just back up straight, but that was it. Um, and that belt, it was the belt that held everything together. So I want you to look into the two components that fail. Like, don't dismiss those at all, ever. Those say something huge. What are they? What is he trying to say? What is he trying to ask you to start? What is failing to start? Um, the battery, your life, drain. Look at all of that. Pay attention. The enemy used it to try to use it for bad. But God ended up fixing it. But there's a message in that. I would not dismiss that at all. You got it? Were you able to hear me? Yes, that's good. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Anybody else have anything to add? You're welcome. I just saw your text messages. You're welcome. Yeah, you guys, um, he's definitely out there. 
He's definitely trying to frustrate you. Um, but don't let him. Um, he went from me to my husband. The same issue I was having. Uh, back spasms last week. A little knot in my under my shoulder blade. I'm surprised the rib didn't pop out, dislocate, but it didn't. Um, and I prayed and I was just like, nope, not doing it, not having it. And it went away and it hopped to my husband. And now he's just literally has to go to the chiropractor and he doesn't have to, he doesn't have the, I mean, he sits for 10 hours a day and he don't ever have any neck back issues, but this week it hopped right on same area, same neck issue, the exact same thing that I was dealing with, but mine only lasted a couple hours. And I was just like, nah, I'm not doing this. This is not my portion. And it hopped on him. So we have to pay attention to what's happening. He is trying his hardest to get us to fail because we are right there. This week, all I'm telling you is act like you already have what God says is yours. Act like whatever he promised you is in your hand. It's in your hand, okay? That is what he wants us to do. Act as if it's yours. The example I gave is the money. If your finances are tripping, if you're waiting on an abundant release and increase, buy things that you're passionate about. Pay up whatever you can pay up. God honors that. If you're just now hopping in, I would advise you to listen to this replay. It'll be replaying tomorrow on my YouTube, probably around afternoon. Um, so if you're not uh, following me on YouTube, I'd advise you to follow me. As soon as this is done and rendered, I will delete it and it will be up on YouTube tomorrow. But what I'm telling you now is use whatever's in your hand that you are waiting for God to increase and add to it. I'm telling you now, act as if it's already in your hand. If you're trying to get your diploma, start looking for jobs. That Say you need a master's if you're going to your master's, if you're going to get your bachelor's. Do you understand? Act as if it's already yours. Husband, wife, already yours. Act like it. What would you do different in your home if you had someone that lived with you? What would you do different if you had a new car? What would you do different if you were a mother? Would you get in, would you, literally, I'm not playing you guys. If you want motherhood, if you're in that stage of your life, go to your car and go to the back as if you are putting in a car, a kid in the car, a baby in the car, and then get in the car and then look back in your back seat. Act as if you already have it. I'm talking extreme with it, okay? Extreme, but not just on paper move in it because it's already here. God has already been working on me with it. That was yesterday. I went to the store and I have a huge, a lot of things in the works, just like everybody else. And just not going too in detail. I went to the store and he was just like, get it all. And I was just like, what? I don't need it all. No, I don't do that. I'll get a couple and then I'll come back. But what he tries, what he likes to show me and many of us, and we miss it, that's a lack mentality. Because I always use this example. How do you act when your income tax comes and you have two to 10 grand extra in the bank? You eat out more, you buy more groceries, you buy more hair products, you buy more clothes, you spend a little bit more. Oh, I can afford these boots. I would normally get the $60 boots, but I'm gonna go ahead and get me the 120. I'm, tell me if I'm lying. Drop a one in the chat. I need you to act like that. Tell me if I'm lying. Drop a one if you understand what I'm saying. When you're income tax or you get a lump sum of money or an, a bonus or you switch jobs and you get that payout of 40 hours plus your last two weeks and you get an extra check, how do you act? If you are waiting on God to bless you with money, I want you to act just like that. You know how to act. We all know how to act. No one's brand new. If you're waiting on a husband or a wife, how would you act if you had the man, woman of your dreams in the bed with you, eating dinner with you, um, going out, watering the grass, the lawn, doing what would you do? Stock up on house items, larger quantities. See what I'm saying? Do that this week. Show God that you trust him. I'm challenging you. 
all of you, whatever you are waiting on, show up in that way. The way you show up for life when you have extra coins in the bank. That is the best way I can describe it. When we have that extra coin, yeah, we can eat out three times. But normally you're like, nah, we don't eat out. We only eat. Or we can go get dessert. Or I went grocery shopping this week, but I'll just go again next week. We do that. And we don't think nothing of it until it starts dwindling. And then we start pulling back, pulling back. So that's your, that's your abundant mindset right there and your lack mindset right there. So that was my message for today. When you, but the thing is, it has to be a passionate purchase. That is a tra- high level transaction. I've taught you guys about transactions. I'm not going to go deep into that. Those of you who've been with me for a minute, I'm not going to go deep into that. Transactions are very, very important in the realm of the spirit, especially when you trade money or prayers, okay? Money is very high. What I'm saying is, if you are passionate about buying something, chicken, look, I'm going to just do the basics. Chicken versus lobster versus steak. and You have your mouth fixed for steak. You know what that feeling feels like because I got to eat what I want to eat. When I want to eat something and I choose to eat something else, I'm not satisfied, right or wrong. And you're still, well, for me, I'm still hungry because I didn't get what I wanted. So I'm, I ate, but I'm not satisfied because I had a taste for a certain thing. And when you compromise on that, you're compromising on a transaction that was done in passionate, high level and the next best thing for your life. As little as chicken. Now, I don't eat meat, but I'm just using that because most people still do, okay? Deodorant. I I don't use a deodorant with aluminum, so I don't use secret degree. I use the other deodorants, but they're like $14. They're like $12. Deodorant's like my husband. I've got my husband on. He's like, oh my God, three pack of degree is the main price i get three for the price of one i said yeah but you either pay for your health now or you pay for it later he'll look at me and just be like whatever but you know i'm I'm getting him there he's getting there so he'll get it but he's right he could get three degrees for the one native price which is 12 for nine something like that i don't even know anymore but The point of what I'm saying is he would buy a pack of three. We would, but with this one, we buy one for everyone and then we go back when we need it. It's a passion purchase. When you buy the thing that is very passionate, that you're passionate about, that you're excited about and you're giddy about, that's a transaction that is recorded in the realm of the spirit that keeps you on an abundant timeline. Are you following me? Okay. It keeps you on an abundant timeline because you're shopping at your highest level of passion. Now, when you are in a passion moment and you bring it down because you're rationalizing and you're being analytical because your dollars don't add up, you drop yourself. Are you following me? This is why I'm trying to get you guys because it's here. And this is an exercise that will help you stay on the abundant timeline for what God wants to bring into your life. But you got to be on the same timeline. You got to be on the same pathway with him. And the enemy loves to intercede in our pathways and veer us off. And then right when you veer off the highway, that exit had your blessing at the next light but you passed it and you would never even know because you veered off the pathway. If you are following me, drop a two in the chat. This week, I need you to act like it's done. Make your purchases, do, think about it, act like it, speak as if it's already done and move in high level passion transactions anybody have any comments anybody have anything they want to add all right so 
if you have your time to be seen cards, I'm going to put some music on your resource cards and we're going to write. Remember, you never come in here without a pen or paper because we always write up in here, especially now. Writing is our go-to. So please get those cards out. And I'm going to set the timer for like two minutes. And we're going to write what is on those cards. Because remember, being seen is part of being abundant. Okay? Being seen is the way you get your abundance. So, no questions? No comments? I see the twos in the chat. Everybody understood what I said? That's your challenge. So tomorrow, I'm going to come on and I'm going to ask you, what? how was it? How did you feel? And what happened? And I'm going to promise you, it's instant. It is instant. If you're in the app, the replay will be tonight. You will hear the story that I gave. Instant. Instant. If you do it the right way, that's how you'll know. That'll be your confirmation. What returns to you is instant. If you do it in the right motive, with the right heart, with the right feel, and you don't um, you don't second guess or doubt or pull back, okay? All right, so get your notepads out, get your resource cards of time to be seen, and I'm gonna set the timer for two minutes, and ready, go. If you don't have the card, uh, let me see if I have the link. These cards are absolutely um, transforming lives. You will see it immediately. It doesn't take long. They're $7, $7.50, something like that. And there's about 14, 12 affirmations, declarations, and exposing declarations that will help you um, in this season. They're called the M School Resource Cards. Here we go. And this is something we do in the community all the time. Not just now, but we are always writing. Um, this is the first time we've used the cards to write though. That is different. But because of the season that we're in, we wanna make sure that we are scripting we are using the law of assumption. We're using the resources that I give you, the cards that I give you. If you don't have it, you can click the link up above. If you're in the community, it's already there. If you're in the community, it's already there. So act like it's done, you guys. Act like it's done. That is the message for today move in the realm of it's already done. It's mine, I have it. How would you act? How would you move? What would you buy? And do it. It's not just a fictional thing on tell me, oh, this is what I would do. No, 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 I want you to do it. Tomorrow I'm gonna ask you, what did you do? How did it feel? What did you see? Return on your investment. Okay. All right. Anybody have anything they want to add? This replay will be available in the app later on tonight. And it'll be available on my YouTube um, tomorrow. If you are not following me on YouTube, you can follow me at I am Somalia handle or look up Somalia Brown. No questions, no comments. All right. All fast. Get ready. Four days away. Make sure you have all your necessities done in shopping. The replay is up. Any questions, you will receive. I don't know if I posted it for today. Let me see. I did a couple of the, um, that, 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 that video that we had yesterday, I did a couple of them. So they should be posting soon. The copper water bottle, the reason for it, and the do's and the don'ts, all of those. Let's see, when did I put it for? 
It should have posted already. It's 11 o'clock. See, I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I literally have it posted for all. Today's the 14th, right? Yep, August 14th at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So I'll go ahead and edit it. Date cannot be in the past. Well, it wasn't supposed to be in the past. Hmm. Cool. All right, you guys. No comments, no questions. I will go ahead and fix that. But yeah, you guys, it should have posted, but it hasn't. But it will post so that you guys will be able to get what you need ASAP. Alrighty. Have an amazing day. Um, this live is closing in three, two, and one. Keep disrupting, and I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Time change. There's going to be a time change. Just letting you guys know the room will change probably back to early, early. School's back in. So just beware. Pay attention. All right, bye.